It's here. Let's open up and tour the 2022 Forest River Rockwood Mini Light. This is the 2511S. Hello and good afternoon, everybody. This is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter, and it is my pleasure to be doing this tour with you all today. We're gonna walk around the outside with the unit all closed up, show you some of the features. Then we're gonna crawl on the roof and do the same thing. Then we're gonna go inside, show you how practical would it be if you had to be parked on the side of the road to maybe use the restroom, cook a meal, or maybe even catch some Z's. How easily accessible is this RV? Then we're gonna take, open it up together and give you a final overlook at a very awesome Rockwood Travel Trailer. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's rock and roll. So, I have to admit, not only is this a good build, but these things are selling like hotcakes. These are a very, very popular RV, the Rockwood Mini Lights, even the Rockwood Geo Pros, which is another video I'll be doing next, so definitely stay tuned for that one. These, even the Rockwood Ultralights, these things are just a really good build, got a lot of nice features on them. Definitely worth a gander if you're in the market looking for an RV. You got a power tongue jack here on the front, comes in extremely handy. You also have a nice built-in convenience light if you guys are doing this at night. Instead of the 20 pounders, which usually come on these sizes, they actually give you a 30 pound propane tank. There's two of them, which we fill upon your purchase as well as provide you with a battery. You have an additional slot if you wanted to add in a second. They have a nice little diamond guard rock plate up here to help as far as rock chips goes down the highway. A fully molded fiberglass front cap with an automotive grade front windshield. Nice little running light right there. I'll show you the button on the opposite side once we get to there. Fiberglass sidewalls, aluminum substructure, heated and enclosed underbelly, very awesome. 12 volt heating tanks. You have a, a little section right here. You could hook up an additional little solar panel. It actually has a 190 watt solar panel on the roof already installed. That is awesome. Open this up. You've got a good amount of pass-through storage in here. You've got all your manual overrides as far as your leveling or your stabilizing jacks, your, uh, your front power tongue jack, and then for your slide outs, should you ever need those. They've got a nice little outside table. Of course, LED tap lights in here as well. You've got a nice little uh, setup in there, uh, a little outdoor table, some additional connections and stuff to go with your manuals. Nice setup. You've got uh, manual jacks right here, but get you a three quarter inch socket, hook that up to a drill. That's gonna raise and lower much faster than if you had to do that manually. It's a nice full span 17 foot awning. I like that quite a bit. That's just awesome. Frameless glass windows. You've got exterior mounted marine grade speakers, six gallon hot water heater. You got a 20,000 BTU furnace. They've got these little brackets out here to be able to hook up like an outdoor griddle or an outside table, really nice. You have 110 power port right here as well. You also have a cable TV or satellite output. They give you a sweet setup with the Dexter, uh, Dexter suspension system, Dexter axles. You've got the Goodyear USA made uh, endurance E-rated tires with aluminum rim upgrade and tire pressure monitoring sensors. That is awesome. This once again is the 2511S uh, with the rear bathroom. This has two slides. There's the uh, opposite end of your stabilizing jack. You also have a tubular style bumper where you guys can put your sewer hose in there, a two inch receiver on the back as well to be able to put your little luggage rack or carry some bikes with you. They also have an outside shower port. Um, you guys can have hot and cold. This has um, LED lights on the top, bottom, and on the side. You have a pre-wire for the Furion backup uh, camera. And then you also have a section right here for tank flushing. You have an access ladder to gain access to your fully walkable roof. Full size spare tire. I've got one hand holding the camera, the other one's holding this ladder. I'm gonna be a ninja, crawl up this unit to show you guys some of the features and hopefully not fall. <laughs> so, on this particular RV, usually comes with a 13.5, but this actually has the 15K upgrade. Um, 190 watt solar panel, as you can see right there. You have the Air 360 ventilation system on here, which is a really sweet feature to have. Positive pressure on the outside, negative pressure on the inside creates the more or less the Venturi effect to uh, prevent the smell of black water smell in your, uh, your bedroom or in your bathroom. Um, you have the antenna as well for finding um, your channels as well as Wi-Fi capabilities. A nice setup with the max air vent fan with the rain cover already installed. 
It's got four speed settings on there. Definitely keep this RV nice and cool in the spring and fall times whenever you're not wanting to run your AC or if you guys are going like uh, off-grid camping. And then of course, a nice skylight as well for the bathroom. Let's get down here. I didn't fall. Coming around here. This is a 30 amp service for your 15K AC. You got cable TV and satellite input. This is the gray and the sewer black tank holding right down here as far as dumping it. Of course, I had mentioned before, you have an enclosed underbelly and heated 12 volt heating tanks. Very cool. Um, this has double slides on this side. This is gonna be one large slide and then a mini wardrobe slide for the front bedroom. You got gray tank flushing right here as well. Open this port up. You're gonna see you have additional storage features in here. You guys can be able to put yourself some shelves in there or kind of set it up as far as any kind of exterior components that you guys need to be able to carry with you. Come around here, you got fresh water drain out right out there. Open this up. Opposite side of your pass through storage, another little tap light right here. Open this up and you've got additional accessories. You got a built-in whole house water filtration system. That is awesome. Of course, your LP connection, the handle to be able to disconnect your filter. Um, it also comes with a nice um, Forest River spatula with a nice uh, logo and stuff on it. Very cool. And a built-in uh, soda pop opener. That's awesome. <laughs> Open this up. You've got the section right here where you guys can have your whole house water filtration system. And out here, uh, section here for potable water. So if you guys want to carry water and you guys have to pressurize the system through your uh, water pump, this is uh, for winterizing your unit. And then your city water connection would hook up to right here. This is the button I was mentioning earlier for your docking uh, front running lights. Very awesome. Let's go inside and open this RV up. Beautiful, stunning, good build. I like it quite a bit. I really like these, uh, this lineup. It's a nice, nice RV. It's just got a lot of really awesome features in it. A good bang for the buck and the fact that you got now the Goodyear Endurance tires. That is a great setup. Open this up. You got a friction hinge door right here. It also comes with the screen door. You also uh, have a thin shade already installed as far as adding additional privacy through your front window on your front door. Um, Rockwood difference. Of course, you guys can take and check that out. Of course, painted fiberglass front cap with clear coat, double-sided Asdell construction, six-sided full aluminum frame, fully laminated walkable roof, um, 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor. The list goes on and on. This, of course, is just a brief overview introduction. We include RV training classes and a campground stay for all new and used purchases. So anything I may miss, not to worry, because we're going to cover it even further upon the day that you pick it up. Um, more ride, zero gravity entry step. A lot of RVs of this size, you don't even get that strut assisted uh, in here. So the fact that Rockwood does that, that is really awesome. You can pretty much lift it with a pinky. It's that much easier to be able to enter and exit. They also pre-drill and tap the sides. So if you guys are uh, maybe elderly, you got bad knees, or you just want additional confidence and peace of mind, you guys can add in the aftermarket handrail. Let's go inside and check this beautiful RV out. So, I have to tell you, it is upper 90s today. I am sweating. It is a hot, hot day, but this 15K AC that's been plugged in about 20, 25 minutes, it is very cool in here, it's very comfortable. So first look, as you can see with the slide closed, there's pretty much no access to gain access to the front um, bedroom. However, if you did need to stop and maybe take a little nap, you could do that. You also have access to your um, 12 volt refrigerator, which is pretty sweet. You can still be able to open that. You can still grab some drinks and stuff out of there and your freezer will open up completely. And it's got a turbo cooling on there as well. I've, like I said, I've only had this plugged in about 20 minutes and I mean, it is freezing in there. I definitely feel comfortable putting perishable items. Um, full access as far, as far as the kitchen and cooking goes which is pretty sweet. If you did have to be parked on the side of the road to cook you a quick meal, you could do that. And best of all, complete access to the rear bathroom. You can walk in, you don't have to stop at the gas station. You guys just be able to pull right into here, use the restroom, even along the lines of even taking a shower. If you really had to, you could definitely accomplish that. Right. Getting into this a little bit further, back into the front. 
you walk into here, you, of course you see additional storage features in here. It has removable shelves, which I really like, depending on your camping lifestyle, which is pretty sweet. You guys can hang clothes up there if you did need to. There's your thermostat right here. It has tire pressure monitoring sensor, which you guys will just download the application. Of course, once this unit gets purchased, of course, we help you set that up. Um, you have 110 charging port. I love that the heat ducts for the 20,000 BTU furnace are not in the floor. They're actually mounted on the side. That comes in really handy. Um, as you can see right here, this is the opposite side of your convenience center as far as checking your battery level, your fresh tank, your black tank, gray one, gray two. You've got your Wi-Fi booster. So if you guys go to a campground, they say, hey, we got free Wi-Fi. That'll act as a booster, but you also can have LTE capabilities. So if you guys went to your cell service provider, activated another line, this could be a personal rolling hotspot. Very cool. Water pump, if you guys are wanting to pressurize your water system and have it come out of your faucets, if you're not hooked up to city water. Of course, water heater, if you guys are uh, you know, heating up your water, whether you're running off of gas or electric, you can hit those both for a quicker recovery time if you're taking multiple showers. And then of course, your thermostatically controlled heated um, tanks awning extension and retraction, and then slide one, two, and slide out. Interior lights, porch light, awning light, and then a step light, very cool. What we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do the slide first one, send it out. So it's gonna start sliding out. This is a rack and pinion style slide out. Once it gets to its fullest extent, you're gonna see a, you're gonna hear kind of a, a, a drum, more or less, it's kind of a drum roll. That lets you know that you need to let off the button this go there you go there's the drum very cool now you've got much more room to be able to move around in here this is very very nice and then the next slide we need to bring out is the wardrobe slide so then what we're going to do right here is we're going to press out on slide two and now this is the Schwintech slide system and once it gets to its fullest extent you're going to hear the motor kind of wind down that lets you know that it's at its fullest extent you need to let off the button there it goes, just like so. Now, I like this Coleman Mach 15K AC because one, you've got a direct dump feature. So if you get into this RV, you turn it on, of course it's hot. You guys can, instead of it routing through the ventilation system, you can simply close or open this to do a direct dump and it cools off the unit a lot faster. It is a little bit louder, but as soon as you close that and you close those, then it'll automatically divert the air to push out through here, which I mean, like I said, this, uh, this, is, this is great. This pushes out a good amount of air, keeps it nice and cool in here. I like it quite a bit. Millersburg Collection, theater style seating. You guys can pull this down, be able to have a 110 charging port as well as US USB charging as well. You've got a section here for your cups. Simply fold that up and out of the way. This is actually a uh, lumbar support. So this is pretty sweet. If you guys look at that really close, you can actually see it starting to swell and then kind of go away so basically lumbar support that is pretty cool you have overhead cabinets as well for more storage open those up nice deep pockets updated valances you got nice blackout curtains with a slow rise feature that's nice LED lighting throughout of course the magic chef um, 12 volt 11 cubic foot refrigerator this actually takes in place of the 8 cubic foot refrigerator so plenty of room to be able to put all your goodies and knickknacks and stuff in here that is awesome as far as the kitchen goes, you have solid surface countertops. You also have a Magic Chef three burner cooktop. This definitely comes in handy. This is only countertop prep space if you guys have this tempered glass insert in place. Never cook on this. And of course, after cooking, waiting for it to cool down before putting this back into place. Um, it is tempered glass, and so when it shatters, it'll go into a thousand pieces and it's not fun to clean up. Open this up. As you can see, you've got an upper light to be able to have a light at night press the bottom one and then the oven light comes on as well nice chocolate chip cookies a pizza in there you gotta love a little RV that still has a fireplace and what better than having a fireplace than in the summertime still be able to have the fireplace but not put out the heat so put on some Barry White set the mood have a great evening very cool IRV technologies AM FM Bluetooth CD DVD HDMI multi-zone selection the list goes on and on this is a good sound system to have it's got a lot of really cool features multi-zone selection so you guys can have the music on the inside on the outside uh, combination of the two you got the furion 32 inch led tv you also have a nice little uh, sound bar right here 
You've got the graystone fan on here as well, so when you're burning the bacon, you also have a Magic Chef uh, microwave. Open this up. Nice setup. Hardwood cabinetry, hidden hinges. You got a two-piece stainless steel sink insert as well with the nice uh, faucet right there. You also have a solar charge controller, and as you can see, it's super sunny outside. It's pulling in 13.6. That comes in extremely handy be able to do some off-grid camping and still have utilization of your 12 volt accessories you have 110 charging here as well of course uh, like a little privacy curtain and also comes with pretty sweet setup with roadside assistance once uh, you purchase it you get one year included which is your towing fluid delivery tire changes mobile mechanic all that good stuff through Forest River. It's awesome. Um, of course, entertaining friends and family. You need more countertop prep space. That'll set up just like so. Coming up here into the bedroom. I like this. It's got good spacious layout. I love an RV. You don't have to shimmy over somebody in order to get out of bed in the middle of the night. So you got plenty of room on both sides. You have the button right here for your power inverter. If you guys are wanting to run your refrigerator while you're running down the road. You got a nice wardrobe closet in here as well, which is part of that slide out. Plenty of room to be able to put all your hanging clothes and stuff. More overhead cabinet storage as well. Be able to take open this up and there's a good breeze coming through there. Here is one critical thing that Forest River does on a lot of their RVs that I can't get over and that I really take a high appreciation to because if you go into a lot of these Rockwood units and heck, I mean some of even some of the Forest River units, you go into there and you look up under the bed you look up under your booth dinette, the framing, they actually, they go with the aluminum. Um, a lot of these RVs you'll be in, you'll see it's actually wood. And it's not a bad thing, but as far as durability and longevity, I think that's a really cool thing that they do um, as far as the booth dinettes or even their bed frames. You know, you could be a bigger person even, and that just gives you a little bit more confidence and peace of mind. Oh, yeah. Getting into this a little bit further, this is some goodies in here, man. This is sweet. So you're gonna have a bracket for your Suburban flat top griddle. There is your uh, Suburban flat top griddle. You've got tire pressure monitoring sensors right there. And then the manuals with everything that I've pointed out, the manuals for every sing single thing in this RV. Simply take, pull this out. Of course, nice solid steel ball bearing drawer glides, a good strong sturdy close. I like that quite a bit. Of course, you got privacy um, doors as well. Um, double um, hideaway doors right there and one for the bathroom. So when you want your privacy, you've got it. Of course, over here, and then they take, you've got a TV backer with a 110 power source, uh, satellite or cable TV output. And then right here, open that up, another little hidden drawer. I like that quite a bit. Of course, this RV is gonna have carbon monoxide, smoke detector, fire extinguisher, emergency exits, the typical st uh, safety features that an RV should have. I really like that they also do the 110 power ports on both sides and you have an ample amount of space on both sides. So if you did need like to power a CPAP machine, uh, you could be able to do that. Last but not least, this is phenomenal because you don't get this in a lot of RVs. So, um, USB charging right here, cool, but pop this open. People are like, well, what the heck would I use this for? Well, it's already pre-wired for a Furion backup camera, and that monitor naturally is gonna plug into your truck and give you a live video feed out the back to let you see whenever you're backing up and so on and so forth. Where it really comes in handy is that monitor, of course, is detachable. You can take that out of your truck. You can actually plug it into here. It'll give you a live video feed out the back of your RV. So. Uh, in a crazy world, which we're in right now, if you're in an area, it's a little shady, or you just want a little bit of extra confidence um, behind the back of your RV, it doesn't record, but you can have a live video feed uh, basically right next to you while you're sleeping to be able to keep an eye out on your stuff. Very cool. Another cool thing, of course, I love walking into a Rockwood or these uh, Geo Pros and stuff, walking into here, walk in, press on the ceiling. It's very hard, not only pressing on the ceiling, I mean, that is solid. I really, really like these roofs. They're so well insulated. I can't, I just can't get over it. It's just such a good build. Very cool. Coming back here to the, uh, what I think personally is really awesome, of course, as far as a bathroom that is ex easily accessible on the side of the road, but I gotta get into this. This is just the creme de la creme. I'm not sure why the entire RV industry hasn't switched over to this because other than upgraded, you know, hot water tanks and things like that or tankless hot water heaters and stuff, this is a really cool feature. So naturally you turn on your hot water, the water's cold, same thing in your house, you're waiting for it to get hot. In your house, you don't have to worry about it because your water just goes away, you never have to worry about it. But in your RV, of course, it brings up the fluid level on your gray water while you're waiting for it to get cold or get hot. 
simply turn this valve, it'll close off the system and recirculate it. When the water gets hot, this blue sleeve turns white, then boom, you have instant hot water on demand and you don't waste any water going into your gray water tank. So personally, a sweet upgrade to have. It's very convenient and I really do like it. You've got a little organizer right here, nice skylight, a sweet setup with the Max Air Vent fan, which you can have completely wide open and blowing in the middle of a rainstorm because the air cover is already on top. It's protected. That's really awesome. And like I was saying outside, if it's in the fall or the spring, you can usually keep this RV pretty cool without having to run your AC just by using the Max Air Vent fan because it's got variable speed settings. I love an RV, especially of this size. It has a porcelain toilet. Let me do it with the rain. There we go. That is the real deal. That's awesome. Of course, another little 20% um, tent window and that nice sexy looking Geo Pro back there, which we're gonna do a video on too, so stay tuned. Open this up, you've got additional storage features for all of your toiletry items and um, towels. You also have a nice little vanity right here, section to be able to put your toothbrush and a cup, nice blacked out little faucet and everything. More storage, more storage little GFI right there as well. You got a nice little medicine cabinet. You smell that? Of course you don't. That's that 360 siphoning vent I was telling you about on the ceiling or up on the, on the roof. Very awesome. Last but not least, let's open up the awning and give you guys a final overlook of this beautiful travel trailer. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go right here, extension, hit, press the extend button. So this is a 17 foot full span awning. Really nice, I like it quite a bit. It's got a built-in LED light strip so it makes it that much easier at night as far as you know being able to illuminate your campsite um, but this rv is brand new and so sometimes this awning there's a little flap that will stick and this one didn't i love it sweet so at its fullest extension the flap comes down that lets you know that you're completely open and that you need to stop simply walk back over here you have a convenient little pitch adjustment, simply pull this down and it's gonna pitch the awning to the left or to the right, depending on how you want the rain to fall off. But definitely take in mind, if you guys are leaving the campsite or if you're gonna to go to bed with your awning open, um, it's not recommended because unfortunately, whenever awning damages are submitted to warranty, a lot of times they're denied because it's usually user error. You're not supposed to have your awning open in the middle of a freak storm or places where you're gonna have heavy gusts of wind. And unfortunately, stuff like that, it will absolutely do wreck it will wreck an awning, it will just destroy it. So definitely take that in mind. Ladies and gents, this is a brief introductory tour to this RV. I really appreciate y'all's time, your patience, and the potential opportunity to do business together. I ask that you please like, subscribe, comment, share. If you guys have any questions or anything, if you wanna do another RV tour on a unit that we have in stock, just give me the uh, information on the comment section and I'll definitely put it on my list. I'm here to help you. I don't claim to know everything. I don't want to know everything because the moment you know it, that's when something new, something new is going to come out. So I appreciate y'all's time. Y'all have a wonderful day and happy camping. Headed on down the road on a new adventure. Wherever we go, thanks to great escapes, great escapes are